Okay, uh, so today I want to show um, how to use the Wiggle Bones add-on for Blender 2.82. Uh, basically, I was having a lot of trouble with it, um, and some weird things were happening. So um, I, I thought that I would just share how I managed to kind of figure it out. Um, so basically, here's my little chicken model here, and he's got his tail, and he's got the red flap things on his head, and so basically, I wanted them to um, jiggle around, and you could um, obviously you could uh, animate each one of them separately each little part of that uh, but that would be super time consuming so um, with the uh, wiggle bones on uh, it sort of will do that automatically you can see them kind of bouncing around uh, the flaps are a little boxy because I've turned off subdivisions just so it's a little smoother in the animation um, but you can see how that kind of works uh, also if you physically kind of move them around on the scene you get the same kind of uh, effect as well. Um, so it's super handy, and uh, I think we'll t obviously would save a lot of time um, to get like a nice effect. Uh, so for, for starters, um, here's where you can get that from, so on Blender Artists, and that's the link. I'll probably try and put that in the description. Uh, I'm using the uh, 1.5 version, uh, the latest, and it seems to be fairly stable, so, um, but yeah, I, I was having some problems, so I'm going to show, show how to troubleshoot that. Now let me jump over to a different project um, that I have set up. Alright, so uh, here's my chicken again, and this one has no bones. So basically, once you've downloaded the, um, uh, the add-on, and obviously you just install it in Preferences, Install, and then Find That File, um, for people who've never done that before. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need some armature for uh, my chicken, so let's go ahead and start with that. Shift A to uh, add some armature, let me scale that right down, and I like to use the in front display, so let me go to viewport, in front, okay, that's easier to see now. Um, and obviously this all depends, uh, I better be in edit mode for this, uh, this all depends on the kind of character that you've got but um, I think that three bones like this uh, seems to work okay for me. And yeah, that's the way that I decided to do it. Now, um, the comb, uh, the flaps here, that's not connected in just the way that I've done it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it would work uh, if you kind of extruded from the original bone, but I didn't, I've made them separate. And then uh, I'll show you in a moment, I'm just gonna parent them and keep the offset. I'm just going to check from the front. Yeah, they're all lined up. That's fine. Uh, oops. So, yeah, I'm just going to shift, uh, nope, shift D to make some copies here. Cool. And, I mean, you can see that the shape of my comb is a bit weird. Uh, I, I sort of did the model with the bend on it before I kind of decided I was doing this wiggly bones. So, I mean, this might actually have been a better idea to do them straight and then put s several segments in there, but this works fine. Okay, so uh, once you've got your bones there, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select them all and then, oops, that's the end. So select the bones and then select the top head bone, uh, parent, make, and choose keep offset. And okay, so here's where my problem started. So basically I had the armature and then uh, you, you might think that you can just from edit now go over to bone and then uh, switch on wiggle bone, okay? Th don't do that. Uh, that caused all kinds of problems for me and I couldn't toggle it on and off and it would say that it was on even though it wasn't. All kinds of weird things were happening. So you've gotta be a little bit patient, do all your armature, um, get everything where it needs to be, okay? Then go over to the pose mode and now select the bones and turn on wiggle bones in pose mode. Okay? I, I, I don't understand the reason why it wouldn't, it would need to be that way, but um, in all my trial and error, this seemed to be the only way to do it. Once I had turned it on in um, edit mode, then it, all weird kind of things happened. Okay, so I just went along and turned all of those on, and if I hit uh, play on the animation now, um, you can see that they kind of bounce at the start like that. There are settings obviously here that you could adjust to get it to bounce more or less or whatever, but 
Um, actually, it just happens to turn out that um, the settings that it starts with are quite nice. And you can also see, I'm still in pose mode, so I'm just gonna hit play and I can do this and you can see in, in pretty much real time how those are bouncing around there. Uh, of course, it's not parented to our mesh yet, so let's go back into object mode, select the chicken, select the armature second, parent automatic weights, and now we should have a flapping comb, which we do. Um, I'm gonna pop back into pose mode again, and let's just see how that flaps. That's a weird bone to sort of adjust. There we go. So uh, some weird stuff there, the top of his head is kind of carrying on, um, where the head itself probably shouldn't wobble as much as that. Um, but one way that you could probably go about that is, I think you could either, um, either have made the bones shorter so that they don't come in down close to the head as much. Uh, or I think what would work is if you go into object mode, um, you could do the, uh, the weight painting because I just set automatic weights and I'm imagining that um, uh, the paint is kind of spilling over. So if I select the mesh here, go to weight paint. Um, I've got some weird leftover paints from before with the vertex group. So if I now select these bones, and yeah, you can see that um, it's mostly affecting the, the, the flap, but there is a little bit affecting the head. So I could just paint that out um, so that it doesn't deform the head when it bounces around. Okay, so hopefully that was useful for some people and you can uh, get that to work without having to go uh, through uh, trial and error that I had to. Thanks.